Hi, I'm Margaret, and today I'm making these lovely Cherry Bakewell tarts. I've picked a nice easy recipe this week, as I've not a lot of time for baking today. So if you fancy a nice and easy sweet treat, this could be just the recipe for you. I made a batch of my sweet crust pastry recipe last night and left it in the fridge overnight. Here's a link to the recipe. Now I should have left it out of the fridge for half an hour before I started rolling it because it's rock hard. But one little trick here, if you ever find yourself in that position, is to give it a good bash. This softens the dough a little and helps you roll it more easily. A bit this way and a bit that way and it soon starts to behave itself. So it needs rolling out, but not too thin today. The pastry on these little tarts need to be quite thick. It's part of the characteristic of these little bake wells. So I would say about four millimeters thick. It should be nicely big enough now to get 12 little circles out of. I'm using a crimped cutter today to get those lovely little edges. And when you're choosing the size of the cutter, it needs to be a little bigger than the size of the dimple in the baking tray. Then when you push it down, making sure there's no air between the baking tin and the pastry, it fits beautifully. And those little crinkled edges just stick up a little bit. Now I'm going to bake these blind first of all, without the filling. And if I prick the bottom with a fork, it should stop the pastry from rising too much. Another tip, if you're in a hurry, is to pop these into the freezer to chill instead of the fridge. Just about five minutes should do it. And then a nice little egg wash, making sure that the edges are covered. We want them to be lovely golden brown. And then into your preheated oven for about 10 minutes. So while they're baking and then cooling, let's get on with that lovely frangipan filling. First, creaming the butter and the caster sugar together. When it starts sticking to the mixer, that's when it's fully mixed. Let's just smooth it out a little bit, just to make sure there's no lumps of butter. No, nope, that's fine. A little bit of almond extract to give it an extra boost of almond flavour. And for this recipe we need one egg and just an egg yolk. Back to the mixer to give it a really good whisk. Now for the dry ingredients. Lots of almonds. I'm using self-raising flour because I want these to have a little bit of a lift. And I'll fold that in gently. So it's a nice, light and airy mixture. And that's it. Those little tart cases are cool now. And it's time to put a teaspoon of some nice cherry jam inside. Best not to overfill these. We don't want too much jam seeping out of the edges. And it's also good to smooth it over the bottom. So we get a little bit of jam in every bite. And next, a good heat teaspoon of frangipan on top of the jam. Again, we don't want too much. It will rise slightly in the oven. And when we've popped it in, we need to try and seal those edges with a spoon. And move that frangipan right up to the pastry. Now they're all ready to bake. You can eat them like this. They're absolutely delicious, but I'm going to add a little extra on top. Let's just check the bottoms are brown and crisp. Lovely. I'm going to add a little bit of lemon icing on top. Lemon goes so well with almond and gives it a lovely added depth of flavor. So all I've done is taken the juice of half a lemon and added enough sift icing sugar to make this sort of consistency. 
soft enough to be spreadable, but not so soft that it rolls off the tart. A little bit more icing for this one, I think. And then spread round the edges until it's a nice, neatish circle. And there's a little cherry on the top. So I get a, a knife full of the icing and then scrape my knife against the bowl and then gently, gently turning the tart as we go, smooth the icing around. And there's a lovely little sweet treat that didn't take too long to make. It's been right good fun making and baking with you today. Thanks for joining me. Have a great week and I'll catch you real soon.